right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, sorry for not posting any videos lately. I've just been tied up with football and other stuff, family matters. But uh, anyways, today's video, we're gonna be doing a couple things. We're going to be clearing the brush, the back of the pond, or at least hauling some brush. And then we're going to be raking some hay, then after that I gotta go to football practice. So that's where the video is really just gonna end. And I'll see if dad can get some uh, bailing footage for me. That'll be any and all possible. If it does, you'll see it. If it doesn't, well, you won't see it. So uh, yeah, how I use to pick up brush, I'm using our uh, gator. As you guys have seen probably uh, many a time before, the gator is like the star of the channel right now, that and the H. Eh, probably the 4042, but um, anyways, uh, I'm going to use a potato fork and I'm going to show you how I do that. And also, don't mind the messy gator. Um, yeah, I've been living out of this thing for like the last two weeks. Working on the pond and other stuff. Oh my goodness. Alright, this looks like a good place to start. I probably should have done this earlier, but um, I just didn't care to, and I don't want to. Uh, where should I put weed eater fuel? Um, always, always have a stick with you, a big stick helps with clearing stuff, I promise. Any of the people, any of the people out there that might be watching this, that might be like, uh, foresters, or, I don't know, just general farmers that like to, that are clearing crap out of their fence rows, no, a big stick, about, about an inch and a quarter thick, and about three and a half feet long, is like the greatest thing, it's like the greatest tool that nature has given you. And yesterday, I was cutting this. I couldn't get any footage of that because uh, it takes two hands to hold a weed eater and um, it takes one hand to hold a phone. In case, unless I get that whole body mounted crap, um, that won't be happening. So uh, yeah, I had to go get the potato fork real quick. So, so what I'm doing is essentially I have it in one hand and I'll be able to just take my, flick my wrist, grab this stuff. I can pull it. Pull it up. It'll be a little bit funky because I'm holding the, the phone. Now, I'm just gonna, you saw how that kind of worked, so show it again. Go away, bees. It is abnormally hot here on this on the 3rd of August. Yeah, I just got done weed eating around the building, so that was not fun. So uh, I'm gonna finish this pile and I'm gonna set you guys down real quick and, uh, and I'll come back. All right, welcome back. Uh, really, I'm just gonna go down on the bank and just start picking sticks up and just talking. That's what I do good. And if, and if any of my friends are watching this, they can contest in the comments that I talk a lot. Probably shouldn't just talk, talk as much as I do, but I do. So, this is our second cutting, um, if you couldn't tell because I've done first cutting videos already, and that's how time scales work. And anyways, we are doing really well for second cutting. We are getting close to 86 or 87 bales to the acre, and that is amazing. So far this year, we're almost getting 300 bales to the acre so far, and that encompasses all three cuttings. Still need to come through here with the brush blade again. And that is amazing. Most of the time on second cutting, 
you get close to 50 to 60 bales an acre. We're just getting 86 bales an acre. Granted, we put an absolute crap load of fertilizer on, which helps immensely. Um, yeah. Also, I'm going to start doing comment highlights. If you want to start posting stuff down in the comments. And uh, my question of the day is, um, I've said this before, what's your favorite tractor brand? And if you could go back to what era, what decade of American agriculture, what would you go back to? For me personally, probably the early 60s mainly because American agriculture actually made money back then. Well, farmers actually made a lot of money back in the 60s. And you see some of the greatest um, tractors of all time arise out of the 60s, like International Harvester 806, or the 06 Series, that is, because the 06 Series, if you don't know, is my favorite series of tractor ever. Revolutionary for its time. And... Um, Probably 4010, 4010, 4020 is a little bit overhyped. 4010, I enjoy because it's still, it still had a lot of holdovers from the John Deere two-cylinder era, and I like the mesh of old and new put together. poked myself. That did not feel good. As I said before, we're going to be doing some actual haying in this video. It's just some stuff I'm doing, some busy work around the farm before I uh, wait till the dew comes off. It's like 10:30, 11 right now. Still, it's blistering hot outside, but there's some humidity, so it's not exactly drying down as fast as we would want it to. When we tetted it out the other day, we were hoping for it to be close to 14 to 16 percent, and well, 16 to 14 that is, but it was probably closer to 20 to 22, 22, 24 percent, which is not great. Why am I walking all this way? Doing this easily. <laughs> Also, since football season has started, or at least games haven't started yet, but what's your favorite college football team? Me? It's, obviously, if you don't know, we're from Ohio. Northeast Ohio, that is. And we are big Buckeyes fans. And my mom went to Mount Union, which, if you don't know, that's, they're a D3 college in Northeast Ohio. The Alliance area, and they have won. Quote, don't quote me on this, but if there's any people who went to Mount Union in the comments that know their football history, uh, I'd say probably six or seven times they won a national championship. I think that's right. Don't quote me on that though. Get my potato fork. Also, this should be Saturday's video because it's Thursday today and I want to get some more footage. And Saturday, which you're going to be seeing this video, um, I am going to be filming. Tuesday's video. Hope it comes out on Tuesday. Might come out on Sunday. Who knows? Depending on how fast I get my editing done and how much I sleep in on Sunday. We're going to a party. A local farmer's hay party. And or a midsummer party, whatever it is, second cutting party, sometimes people call them. 
and get out of there. Right, let me set you guys down. Right. Yeah, so anyways, we're going to a second cutting party, and there's going to be a fireworks show. So I'll either do a video on that or just a bunch of shorts content. And yeah, that'll be fun. A bunch of the local hay farmers come together, their families. It's really fun. First time I've ever gone, or I'm going. Dad's gone a couple of years. My boss is gone. Ow, crap. Yeah, always wear gloves when you're doing this, kids. Because, quoting fellow YouTuber, Ross the Oliver Man, the trail of sadness never ends when you're messing with prickers. Or briars, or whatever you want to call them. Wish these things would just mulch down. <laughs> Ugh, man. It's hot outside. So, anyways, if you get a full load, like this, I can feel a little bit more on there. Once you get a full load, I will take it over to the burn pile and visit the, our, two, our four bottom plow. Real quick. And if, speaking of plows, uh, next summer, I'm hoping to do some plowing videos. So, in that case, I'm going to be plowing with my H, and hopefully we can get the 806 disking in our little five-acre field. Hopefully I can do that with just old equipment. That's my goal. So there'll pr probably be a video out on that with me plowing and disking with the farm all H. If I can find myself a borrow an eight foot disc or a six foot disc, something like that. One of those transient disc discs or something. John Deere made a lot of them. I could probably find one of those for cheap, 400 bucks, something like that. But yeah, I'm buying this two bottom plow from the same gentleman I bought my uh, Farm All H from. And yeah, that should be pretty fun to do that. I, I always wanted to see how they did it back then. Oh yeah, and uh, if you didn't see in my equipment tour video, which I think I deleted for some odd reason, uh, we do have a four bottom plow, which has the capacity to be a five bottom plow. It's a International 720 trip plow. So no matter how much dad says he's a John Deere guy, I always um, say that we got an international plow. <sighs> so in reality, we're a red farm now. Think about it. Because we got three New Hollands. Then we've got, we got the T-485, we got the T-4020, uh, which is one of my all-time favorite tractors great little Euro crop utility. Then we've got the T... No, we got the Workmaster, the raking tractor. And for John Deere, we have the 4040, which is one of my all-time favorites. Then... Wrong button. Got the 4040. And for red stuff, we got the H, which we all know is the all time money maker on our farm. That's our big horsepower, baby. Um, and then we got the 806. And then we got the uh, four bottom. And I guess we're still a blue farm. We got the Ford 4000. That was Grandpa's tractor. Still got to do a video on that. And for the people asking what we're going to do with the uh, uh, 10037, oh, yeah, I think that's what that's called, the 1037 New Holland stacker wagon, what we're going to do is we're going to strip it down and essentially turn it into a round bale wagon when we get the cows. And we're, I don't know if we are or we aren't looking at a round baler right now. 
The reason it's been so hot lately, or humid that is, is because the smoke from Canada is not so bad today, but yeah, since the Canadian wildfire has been happening, we just, it's been so smoky lately. It's almost been blue outside, blue haze. If it was purple haze, that'd be a Jimi Hendrix reference. And if you know who Jimi Hendrix is, you're either really old, which, nothing on that, or you listen to classic rock, which, you're also really cool. Ah. Here we go. A big pile of sadness. The sadness never truly ends. No, I'm not going to use the potato fork. Myself some water real quick. Remember, kids, drink water. Or else you will be like me and almost pass out in the tractor seat. And me, being the stupid idiot that I am, uh, can't find my tripod. I was sure I left it in the grease box that one day when I filmed my 806 video. Um, but obviously not. It's not there, and I think it's in Dad's truck. I hope it's in Dad's truck. Or else, uh, I have to go buy myself another $13 Amazon tripod. Which, it's not, it's not a bad deal. Actually, it was a nice little tripod. I liked it a lot. But, here in the next couple years or so, if I get monetized within another year and I can supplement my channel with the whole 50 cents that monetization will get me, um, hopefully I can buy myself a GoPro here in the next few years and stop using InShot as an editing software and use like iMovie. Which is totally free with iPhones, but I just don't know how to use it yet. And, um, yeah, I know how to use InShot, and InShot's easy to use. If you have any, if you have any ideas for editing software or good cameras or good tripods, under $100 for tripods-wise, because I'm kind of cheap at the moment, and I'm broke... Uh, put it in the comments. I'd like to read. I like to read all your comments, and I try to respond to all of them. And also, lately, keep it friendly, guys. Seriously, I don't like. I don't like banning people. I really don't. But there's been like some really kind of nasty comments in there. I've deleted them, and I've since blocked the people who've done it. But keep it friendly. Keep it clean. This is an educational channel, after all. It is, but it isn't. You get to see my stupid antics that I get up with. And who knows? Maybe I'll get big enough someday that someone will recognize me in the street and want to talk to me about randomness for a half hour. I don't know. Ugh. If any of y'all play sports, because if you didn't know already, I'm a high schooler. If you didn't, if you haven't seen my face and the one of my 500 videos, that not 500, like 70 videos that I've done. But I am in high school, and I am 15, 15 and a half next month. Take my driver's test, not to say that it hasn't stopped me from driving before. I.e., I've been driving since I was in diapers. I have a picture to prove it, and uh, I'll put that up at the end of the video. I've been driving farm equipment and tractors since I was in diapers which for any farmer, yeah, it looks up something like this size, like probably about a thumbnail, 
probably about two thumbnails wide. This stick's always great for like beating brush down, poking at stuff, moving sn snakes out of the way because you hate snakes. Anyways, hopefully this trail of sadness that we call a pond. And the reason I say that is because it's absolute pain in the butt to clear this stuff. And I hate snakes. I don't hate snakes, but it's just, yeah, they surprise me and I don't like being surprised. Because I'm crazy like that. Well, I'm going to shut this part down and then I'll get back to you guys in a minute when I uh, pick up the rest of this pile. All right, so uh, I just got done dropping off my last pile of brush at the burn pile. And uh, it seems as though Dad's Ted and Hay over there. Got that hooked up a couple days ago. Was that yesterday? I can't remember. That was a couple days ago. And go up to the old garage, park the gator, Bump. and see what we should do next. Because after this, probably we're going to be uh, start raking. For reference, it's like 87 degrees outside with 60% humidity. It sucks. That breeze feels amazing, though. Ugh. I'll park the gator and get back to you. it on top of this row, right? Yeah. Are you understanding? I am understanding. I don't want to get the rotor to the road. All right. Because once we do about three rounds, we're going to turn around and we're going to come back and get this row. All right. Recorded. Yeah. All cotton 4K, Dad, 1080. Your great words of hay-raking wisdom will be will be captured for the generations uh, of late, or not generations, generations of next. And then we'll skip that windrow, and then knock, then knock that windrow into this windrow. Yeah. Uh, B rakes would come in nice.
I thought of a new motto. McCleary Farms, where headsets are thrown and hay is made. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty thick hay for second cutting. Uh, this kind of got screwed up with the tender and started grabbing. Oh. Hopefully that wind stays up for football practice or we'll be miserable. Get 86 bales to the acre, Dad. Got 89 on that section. Oh, I thought you said we got 86. last year. Windrows up. What? If you get two of those single 
wheel rakes and weld it to a like a three-point system or make a three-point hitch for it, we could make a uh, double rake for the three-point. Just a thought. As I said before, content for days, Dad. Ow. Dad. 